Roger Cohen, a columnist for the New York Times. Twenty years ago in Berlin, the unthinkable happened. The Berlin Wall came down and the division of Europe ended. I've asked myself ever since then what combination of historical forces and individual acts contributed to that miracle. Clearly, the decision of Mikhail Gorbachev, the Soviet leader, not to use force was one factor. But in the end, this opening of the wall came down to the decisions and acts of one single border guard at a crossing on the Berlin Wall that night of November 9, 1989. Harold Jaeger spent nearly three decades working at the Bornholmerstrasse border crossing. Today, traffic rushes by. Twenty years ago, it was a sealed crossing between East and West Germany. Jaeger volunteered for the East German border police when he was 17. At home, I was brought up in the sense to believe that you also have to do something for the state you live in. The night of November 9th, 1989, was just another night on post. I had just started. I had just gotten my sandwiches, got my pot of tea. I had placed them on a table and I had just taken my first bite into my mouth. A television in the cafeteria was set to a live press conference with Gunter Schabowski, a senior East German official. We have decided today to endorse a regulation that allows every citizen of East Germany to leave the country via East German border crossing points. A permanent exit is possible via all East German border crossing points to West Germany. The journalist wanted details. When does it go into effect? That comes into effect, according to my information, immediately, without delay. Confusion filled the guards' offices. They hadn't received any order to open the border. And the car traffic was so heavy that within one, one and a half, two hours, the whole border crossing point was blocked. Jaeger, who was the most senior officer present, called his superiors. He told them the crowd was growing impatient. Chaos was brewing. They didn't believe him. This totally pissed me off, and I shouted into the phone, if you don't believe me, then just listen to what's going on outside. My staff demanded, Harold, then you have to do something. And so I asked provocatively, what do you want me to do? Should I give the order to shoot? Desperate to control the situation, the guards let a few of the most persistent people through. But instead of reducing the pressure, it just increased it. What I should do, and what I had to do at that point, was clear. In order to prevent a catastrophe, in order to prevent or rule out any panic, the only option was to open the border and let all East German citizens leave. After reunification, Jaeger owned a newspaper stand and worked briefly as a security guard for a private company before retiring to a small house and prized garden just outside Berlin. And today, I have a very clear position. To have East Germany back, I don't want this. By no means. With the opening of the Bornholmer Strasse gate, the first floodgates were opened. This was the end of East Germany. But what if? What if Jaeger had acted differently? What if he'd given the order to fire? The hypothetical has little value in history, but the fact is that it was this one man's decision that changed the course of history. Now, he's an anonymous hero. Few people know his name, but Jaeger played a role of absolutely critical importance.